Greetings, Church. It's uh, Kevin DeClaren, uh, once again, coming to you live from the uh, Portland Public Library. It is uh, March 8th, 2018. March 8th, 2018. Uh, my computer here is acting up as it normally does. Um, there's not a whole lot to update you on. Um, I am still uh, living in the streets of Portland rather than in housing. Um, I don't think they're going to give me housing, so I've kind of stopped looking for housing. Um, not that I couldn't put out an application with a uh, with an application fee, but what's happening, as I've told you in past times, is uh, when you give an application to uh, a manager, oftentimes it is followed by Guy Franklin, Gabriel Franklin, and John MacArthur. And so wherever the application goes, they go there too, asking for an extra key, um, asking for access into the apartment, entrance into the apartment. So I can't risk going through that again um, if I get an apartment, right? A studio or a one bedroom. Problem is that um, my case with Multnomah County last year, 2016, June of 2016, um, I, I got a letter from the mail saying that I owe um, registration fees. You know, you have to register uh, and pay some fees to filing fees to file uh, a complaint and to go to court. Well, I, I, I guess I owed $232. I went in there and spoke to them. They waived the fees. But here's the interesting thing is that when I went into, um, into the Multnomah County Courthouse, the the Multnomah County Courthouse hired an Asian woman that was the exact replica of Gabriel, the rapist, and her daughter, Maria Nett. And so I'm thinking, well, and she's in the collections office. I'm thinking that, that you know, so no one to judge, no one the case, and no on the collections office because all three stood against me. And then here's a letter for $232. So I had to basically cry about it and in so doing, I was, um, they allowed me to uh, not have to pay the $232. So I said, fine, but the case is still pending uh, against Gabriel and John MacArthur because they're still in the background manipulating. They're still in the background taking control. Um, Maltenum, I can't take the court to case again unless I have concrete evidence and pretty much everybody in the Multnomah County area is against me. Uh, that includes the police department, every church, every um, state, uh, government, mayor, governor, senator, all of them. They've all stood with MacArthur. Every single one of them stand against me, against me as a Haitian, against me as a preacher, against me as an American, against me as, um, as a man trying to file a complaint against a Haitian woman for, sexually, for sexual assault. Um, and so anytime I go into their offices asking for help, they basically have me escorted out of the building or they don't respond to the email or they don't respond to the letter or they don't respond to the fact that I've come to their office seeking assistance, okay? Um, I wrote uh, a letter to IPR, Independent Police Review. To this day, I have not gotten any kind of response from them. Instead, they went and hired two Haitian people, a male and a female, putting the Haitians in their office, the Independent Police Review Office, where I would file a complaint against an officer for misconduct. Um, and so now they're protecting their police uh, department. Um, on the job, no jobs. Uh, every hotel that I put in an application with is a no. Uh, they hire people that look exactly like this Haitian woman um, to, to be there to receive the, uh, to receive the application. Same thing, uh, my wages are gonna be garnished. Um, and the reasoning is because she uh, is sexually assaulting me at night when I'm asleep. Uh, this is her credit for doing that for me so that John could pray on me and God could give me back my spirit inside of this body. So she has to sexually, she has to, me in order for God to say, I'll give you back your spirit to wake you up from this uh, blackness. You know, I fall asleep and then they come in and, and they have to be the ones who, um, to revive me. Okay, this is what I'm being told. I don't have any proof or evidence of this. So um, as a result of this, 
I, I recently got a check for 7505, but the, the, there's no explanation as to where the money came, uh, why, why uh, my previous employer sent me the money, which was uh, Labor Ready, now known as People Ready. Um, they've adapted the, uh, the name People, uh, you know, as if they were supporting Mark Rodriguez or something. You know, he's the guy that uses people, people, people. Okay. Uh, and they also adopted the color orange, which makes me very, you know, it's one of those things that's like, hmm, I'm beginning to think that they're, they're making it very obvious that they're supporting Grace Community Church. Um, I didn't get my W-2s. So I'm thinking I get a check in the mail for 75 bucks, but where are my W-2s? So if my W-2s were for 150 or 200 or 300, I would have only gotten a portion of it. And her and Dee Franklin would have filled out all the paperwork because they have all my information and they would have gotten um, the check back as if they were me. So there's something crooked about the whole thing. Yesterday, I, I you know, when I last month when I went to see my uh, um, the Park Rose branch of um, of the of the job, um, and I have spoken to the people, three women, there were three white women behind the desk. They told me exactly what to do online. Um, uh, mytaxform.com, fill it out, all the information. Um, then you can just retrieve your W-2 from an online site, or you can send for, or, you, or they can send it to you at a, um, an address. So I said, well, well, just send me a copy of it. It's been at least 10 days, and I still haven't gotten it. So um, I went into IRS to talk to them to see whether or not I can get you know, a copy of my W-2s and IRS is like, no, you have to go back to the company. So I go back to the company, talk to them for a bit. And they're like, and they basically asked me for personal information. I gave them the personal information. They told me I needed a passcode, go online, get the passcode. I went online, got the passcode, called the company back. And when I called the company back and spoke to a new rep, which is what they wanted, for 45 minutes, we were sitting there talking to each other back and forth. And the guy, could not put in the code uh, to, you know, to, to basically okay for me to receive the W-2s. So three times I approached them on the job, at the job, online, and uh, over the phone, and I could not get a copy of my W-2. So I went down there yesterday at the Park Rose branch on 82nd, and I was like, hey, what's going on here? I need my, uh, I need my, uh, I, at first I said, I, I, I have to quit this job. I have to be removed off of the books. So that means I'm no longer a paying employee. And after I did that, I asked them, I gave, I think her name was Kelsey, this American woman who I guess was supposed to remind me of Gabriel. I don't know. I didn't say anything to her about it, but um, she took down my, my PO box number, 3322 Portland, Oregon, 97208. And she also took down my social security number and my name. And she said that she would uh, process it through. Uh, I'm waiting until the end of the month to see if it actually goes through. Um, because as of right now, I don't have any tax forms, all right? So that's how it goes for um, for employment. So no housing, no employment. And as far as uh, lodging, I'm still at the Portland Rescue and I'm still getting molested. Last night I got hit six times. The night before, I think it was three or four times. The night before, probably two, 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 two or three times. And I called non-emergency relentlessly um, from the central precinct. And I talked to them and I tell them what's going on. And their response as a police department is, we're not gonna help you. Okay, we're not gonna subject ourselves to you. So here we are in March of 2018, a brand new year. And it's the same thing that it's always been. Nothing has changed. So nothing in housing, no, nothing. And as far as the church is concerned, I'm dead to the American church. I'm dead to the United States church. The people don't want to know me they don't want anything to do with me they don't want to mix with me um because of what gabriel and her D. franklin has done because of what macarthur and his staff has done so um as i'm talking to you i'm falling asleep it feels like they're pumping sleeping gas in here as you can see my eyes you see my eyes are closing my eyes are closing right now why because there's i think they're pumping sleeping gas in here i want to show you this is the uh, right and behind me right there right there that's the writer's room this is where the writers come in and, and write and type this is the actual public library uh, and since i'm a writer i get to you know come in here print uh type up 
type up whatever I need or um, print up. That right there is like a heater vent. That's where it would be coming from. And the people who would be doing this is the police department and MacArthur, who's in the background. Uh, so I don't want to stay too long. Um, as far as family's concerned, I haven't spoken to my mom since 2010. Everybody that I, everybody that represents her from the gay side, um, there's a ton of people at the mission who represents her at the gay side, on the gay side. I never, I never talked to them like they're my mother, so I don't really know what happened to the woman. Um, that's probably it. The, you know, I'm still getting pierced under the feet, um, cuts on my knuckles, cuts, uh, piercings. Nothing has changed. My property still being damaged. You know, um, it's not a whole lot to say except for it's just a continuation. As far as church support is concerned, there is none. Um, no church has ever and probably will ever step up because to them, I'm the devil and I'm the enemy. Um, I can't resolve anything. Um, I just have to be the stepping stone that they need, you know. I'm the stepping stone that they need and they're gonna use me as a stepping stone and only as a stepping stone and nothing more. Um, I'm trying to think here of some of the things that have, that's been going on. Um, you know, I'm in storage. Everything is in storage. Uh, every idea is in storage. Um, Nothing has changed, not a whole lot. Uh, not, everything is in storage. I'd like to move out of storage into somewhere else where we could, where we could gather and worship and pray, but uh, be it as it may, I don't even have a group. I don't even have a church group. Um, I can't go to the church and, and associate with them as a minister. As a homeless, I can. Um, as a homosexual, I can. As an unemployed, I can, because I'd be dealing with what they now consider my own. I'd be dealing with um, the very people, wow, they're really pumping this thing. My eyes are really shutting down now, yeah. you know. They don't approve of this report. Anyway, I'm gonna keep it short. And um, if you could pray for me, if you could pray with me, uh, they think I'm a clown because I'm not always directing the issues of sin directly, you know, heavy hearted. Um, and, and so I give it to them in a way that um, I ticks them off, you know. Because it, it's annoying waking up every morning with a stiff. It's annoying waking up every morning with pain in under your heel. And for them to just act like they don't know what's going on, you know? They, um, they're not willing to give me back my life. So the naturalization certificate is garbage. Um, the constitution is garbage. Uh, the uh, Bible, you might as well just use it for toilet paper. Um, there is no freedom. There is no equality. If I if I try to do something, they'll try. To, they, they 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 match it. You know, they match it by getting the same information. Um, they they double it. You know, if I if I wear a white shirt, they'll wear a white shirt. If I wear uh, pink underwear, they'll they'll wear a pink underwear. They're the mirror image of me. So if I preach a sermon, they'll go online, look for the outline, or they they'll come through my personal property, look for the outline, and take the outline. Uh, and preach it and make money off of it. And, and God knows what else they'll do to it. But um, that's pretty much what's going on here. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't know what the rest of the month is going to be like. Um, I don't have any grandiose plans. It's, it's all the same. It's, it, it's, it's not a whole lot. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off of this and uh, talk to you later. Father, bless this uh, afternoon, and I pray that you bless these Christians that are watching this, and that you would be with them. Uh, in Jesus' name, amen. Anyway, you guys go out there and um, be Christians. Um, oh, and one other thing. I am still, from time to time, having to go to fantasy and do that. That's a mandatory for these people. And when I don't, they increase... They increased the sexual assault at the mission against my body using Gabriel and probably gay men. Um, I, I don't, I don't know how to put an end to it, you know, and um, it's really humiliating and degrading what they've done. Uh, you people on Grace Community Church property, I am so sorry that you think this man is, is, is great 
uh, and worthy to be followed into the 21st century, but I would caution you that you're not seeing him in the light for who he is. As far as Haiti's concerned, my mom, um, it's, a, it's a disappointment that this is, this is how I'm having to live. This is what your friend Gabriel has done to my life. It's a real disappointment. And um, as for the people of Portland, you know, the only thing I would say to you is, uh, you, it's either you live by the law, the righteousness of the law, or you live by the unrighteousness of the community. And it seems to me the unrighteousness of the community has won. And all that you're professing as law and government, um, it's null and void. Nothing is going to happen. So, anyway, that's it. Unless you choose for it to happen and change what's happening here. But from the people that I've spoken to, nobody seems to want to uh, want this thing to come to an end. They just want it to keep going. As a matter of fact, if they could, they would have buried me already. That's how I see the American people here in Portland. They would have taken me out.